Hi everyone, this is John McGowan and I created the uh, GMath add-on for Google Docs. Uh, so hopefully you've already gone to the add-on store and gotten your GMath add-on. Uh, so if you did, I want to take you through the two things that it does right now. So when you see how to access this from your add-on, you hit GMath and there's two things you can do. You can either create math expressions or you can create a graph. So let's start off with math expressions. So you click on that and over here in the sidebar you'll see that it'll pop up. Uh, so I think one of the biggest things that is a challenge for creating math digitally is the vertical spacing needed to create some math structures, for instance, like fractions and other complicated math things. Uh, so Google Docs does have an equation editor, but I feel like it's lacking in some areas. And so that's why I created this add-on. So you do need to know LaTeX commands, which LaTeX is a uh, typesetting language that helps you uh, overcome the vertical spacing of mathematics. Uh, so if you don't know it, that's okay. Uh, if you go to the help part on the GMath add-on, click on help, and then learn more, you can go to the help page where it does give you two good resources to find out what some LaTeX commands are, or you can just use your uh, googliness and just Google like uh, whatever LaTeX command you're looking for. And there's a great help resource online. So what I want to do is, um, all you have to do is type in some LaTeX in the box, and then you can either preview it or insert it in the document. So for instance, in this document, I'm talking about quadratic equations, and I say they're of the form, and I want to put quadratics. So I've pre-populated some LaTeX code down here. You just need to click on the button, and it'll put the LaTeX into the box, and then you can just insert it, and it'll go directly into the document where the cursor is located. Uh, it also just shows it as an image. Uh, in a future version, hopefully, you'll be able to click on the image and it'll populate the LaTeX box, but I'm working on that still. Uh, and so here, uh, so it's already in your document, and I might say like the quadratic formula now, and then I might want to put the quadratic formula. Uh, so I can delete that, or I could have it highlighted, then just click on the quadratic formula box, and I can see if I want to preview, I click the preview button, it'll show what I want here, and that might be helpful if I wanted to change some things. For instance, if I wanted B to be like negative four, I can replace all the Bs with negative four. Or sorry, I want a B to be four. I can replace all the Bs with four, and then I can see that it'll change wherever B is. I'll change it to four. So I feel like that's the best way that I could help you out. Uh, and so now uh, let's change it back to there to Bs, and we can just insert it into the document. Uh, and it's hopefully to go under where the quadratic formula is. So you don't need preview. You can just throw it straight in there. Another thing that you can do as well is it's just an image. If you're in some browsers, you can just drag and drop that image and throw it in there. Um, so another, so that's how you can use the math expressions. I'm in the process of adding more of the pre-populated ones, um, and so you should see those in the next distribution. And if you have something you'd like to see, um, you can hit me up at uh, google.com uh, slash plus John McGowan or at Twitter at jmacattack, or you can feedback on the add-on. So the other part of the add-on is to create a graph. So my first uh, caveat here is that uh, Desmos.com and some other things do graphing great. This is a quick way where I like my students to be able to create graphs directly in their Google Doc and not have to use an external resource. Uh, so this is not the best graphing tool, but I feel like it suffices so far. Uh, so for instance, if I wanted to put the graph of a quadratic function, looks like, and then here I could put, um, if I want to put just a basic one of x squared, I can hit preview and it should generate it and I can drag and drop for some browsers. Or if that doesn't work, uh, I can just click insert and it'll put my, it'll insert that image of the graph wherever my picture, wherever my cursor is. Um, so one thing I do want to point out is let's say I wanted to change this. If you want to multiply, you can't just put like 2x squared. If I do, you'll see it over here in some just a flat line. It does not a graph. I need to put 2 and then star for x squared. Uh, so that's the big thing. If you wanted to multiply, you have to use the star. Uh, and so, for instance, if I wanted to put that 2x squared, I can click next to here and insert it. Maybe if I'm doing a quadratic and I want to show the, well, how, what happens when a changes. And let's say I put the negative in there, then that should also help show uh, what happens that a makes it uh, reflect over the x-axis. So that's my intention. There are other great resources out there for creating amazing graphical tutorials, uh, but so this is a nice basic grapher. I am working on putting another equation so you could do systems. Um, that's coming up in the next distribution, I hope. Uh, so hopefully that was a nice help for how you can use GMAT, and I hope you find it useful, and I'd love to hear any feedback that you have. Um,